Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to see the uh, Oracle ACP MRP planned safety stocks. So if you look at so if you look at in uh, ACP, there are multiple ways of uh, uh, planning the safety stocks. Right? One is a fixed uh, safety stock wherein you go into uh, ACP. Uh, sorry, an inventory module. The defined safety stock. I can just, I'll just quickly open it so that you know the background. So in uh, planning, we go here and uh, define safety stocks. Okay. So these are uh, um, these are. This is basically the fixed safety stock. That means uh, you have to key in a, a fixed value of uh, um, uh, safety stock, and the ASAP just picks it up and plan uh, uh, supply for it right but uh, we are not going uh, this one because everyone knows this so the second uh, uh, type of uh, safety stock planning is mrp plan safety stock right so now i'm going to take an example and uh, walk walk you through the complete system process so that you know how to do that uh, <clears throat> uh, now i am on uh, 12 to 5 uh, vision instance right let me quickly open it so this is a 1225 vision instance 1225 right so uh, create an item they already created an item but i will just pull it up what are the key important attributes for safety stock planning right if you see uh, the data set i took for is uh, for this uh, testing and walk through the process is um, 14 bucket days and a thousand percent so what does this mean there are two types here if you look if you pick a non MRP plan percent then you have to go into inventory module and key in the safety stock a manual safety stock right but uh, if you choose this MRP planned percent then ACP will calculate the safety stocks a dynamic safety stocks or it is called a transient safety stocks Right. I will quickly explain how it works and then go into a demonstration. I picked up uh, 14 bucket days, that is two weeks of uh, uh, supply or two weeks of safety stock demand, right? And uh, percent is thousand, right? What does this thousand means? It is basically telling us uh, 10 days of supply. I need 10 days of supply, and and this is the demand. So transient safety stock will always uh, uh, depends on uh, demand right if there is no demand there is no uh, safety stock right so only the safety stock this this is applicable in a scenario where you know that there is a continuous demand coming up right so let's take in Jan 17 and uh, sorry I, I mean to say um, Jan 2017 and Feb 2017 and uh, March 2017. It's for three months. So here I'm roughly planning a 10,000 uh, uh, forecast. This is a forecast, right? Now here I'm expecting only 7,000, and here it is 15,000, right? And if you take here 2017, this may be 6,000, right? This this is the forecast, a prediction of future demand, right? Why why is it so? because that's how your customers are, right? So whatever the forecast process, they come up, if the demand planning come, uh, team comes up with this forecast numbers, how do we calculate safety stock, right? So if you take here fixed safety stock, right? If I'm defining 1,000, right? All around 1,000. So this person may be a good for Dan, right? But it may be too high for Feb and too high for April, right? And it may be too less here. So this kind of uh, fixed safety stock, a manual safety stock will not work in this scenario. But <clears throat> where do the manual safety stock comes into picture? So I, I don't know when the customer is going to order. Uh, even I, the forecast is zero, right? I, I don't have any forecast, right? Now I want maintain a safety stock, a minimum safety stock, five units, four units, or four units across the board. Just four units. The nominal 
table drop. So means if someone orders here, right, sales orders. If someone orders here, three pieces. Then it we can just ship it from the safety stock. Right? This is the safety stock. Same safety stock across the board. So this is uh, we can implement this kind of solution for uh, items where you do not have a a good forecast or unexpected demands or uh, you don't know when your customers are going to place an order right uh, very minimal safety stock right but here this is a mrp plan safety stock it is a safety stock right here the demand is too high right here if uh, if the item cost is uh, you know ten dollar right cost let let's put Cost item cost here. If I multiply ten by thousand, so ten thousand dollars you are going to stock uh, safety stock. And if you see the same thing here, you you are actually better off here. Did not apply. So ten dollar multiplied by the safety stock, fixed safety stock. We, we are defining uh, having a fixed safety stock. Now if we go back into the system and see how to define a MRP plan safety stock. So system may show up here 1600 and it may be 1300 here and it may be uh, here is uh, 550. Right? Now your dollars are, are changing. Right? So that is why uh, people, everyone, every company wants to look at the, uh, they, they take care of a lot of care in in coming up with the uh, safety stock numbers. <clears throat> now we are going to see this uh, demonstration in the system. So I I defined a uh, test item here. I put in a 14 days of uh, uh, average demand. Bucket days is uh, 14 days is okay. Go and look for 14 days. In the future what is the demand and come up with the average demand right I will show you with the demonstration now here I need safety stock for 10 days so let's spend a couple of uh, minutes on this one here this is a MRP plan safety stock MRP plan 14 days 40, what is 14 days here average demand okay and the percent is how many days of uh, 10 days of uh, safety stock, right? And this is the demand. This is a demand, right? Now here, the system calculates, okay, what is my average demand for 14 days, right? That may be 10, 20, 100, whatever, and then multiply with a number of days is 10. This is a percent. So that's why if you null off 1,000 by it is 10 days right so that's it 10 days of uh, worth of safety stock now if you see into this uh, if you go into the system uh, these are the item attributes and this has to be set at org level it, it doesn't matter if you set it at master or not the system will not care about that so all you have to do make sure is you uh, this org level attribute is set up right and the most uh, key important um, thing for us is uh, demand so here since we don't have a demand set up uh, uh, right now for this uh, item so I'm defining a manual EBS forecast in supply chain planning so this is a test forecast set and here I'm defining uh, today from today to uh, 10th Feb Yes, I, I just took uh, randomly some kind of a date, so which is uh, 21 days, because I'm planning uh, safety stock for 14 days. So I want to uh, see a trend for 21 days, and this is uh, the average uh, daily forecast is 100 for this for this item, right? Item item is SS dash one. Now we feed this data into AC, right? How do we feed into AC? It's a different uh, scenario, and uh, we will uh, take up that in full full course. Right? And this is only for people where they know uh, good understanding of ACP and uh, may have some questions on how safety stocks work, safety stock process works. Right? So we are not going into the collections and all how to pull the data here. 
but if you go and uh, create a plan right uh, create a plan and enable safety shock that also will be in the next class right now i already kicked off uh, define the plan options and everything and now i am i'm looking the data right safety stock now if you see this is my safety stock so you see here so the safety stocks are changing all over the place right 13 jan today i need to plan for 1000 and 25th 26 27 28 30 31 all over whatever right so the safety stock numbers are changing how is this happening right so that's the whole purpose of this demo now if you see now if you see this is the demand right this is the forecasted demand right now let's let me make it a little bigger so here on day one today i'm on uh, i ran the plan today today is 13 jan and uh, so here 14 days 14 days of because my demand is a daily demand and 14 days of uh, demand what is my average demand here 100 right and 100 and what, what how many day, days of safety stock we are planning here 10 days 100 multiplied by 10 which is 1000 so if you see in the system here so 1000 is my safety stock now let's look at how the system is showing up 929 now if you go back into the system and see the the second day right i copied absolutely column e into multiple columns across up to t it's the same column just for you know demonstration now i co copied column e into column f and uh, marked with a different color right so today i'm planning or maybe i should say here insert right safe stock here safe stock is thousand now here it is 929 how how, how how does this number how do we get this number right here right so thousand where is the thousand coming from if you see in the system system is calculating thousand and nine twenty nine okay now thousand you know right how how thousand is coming up here it is average demand for 14 days if you see the column count is 14 average demand is 100 multiplied by 10 is 1000 now here for the second one take so today the safety stock process is done that is 1000 now for the day 2 now you calculate up, up the demand for next 14 days so look at the demand into next 14 days so this is also 1000 1400 average demand is 100 multiplied by 10 is 1000 right now 929 sorry I, I did a mistake here if you see the 25th jan 13th jan to 25th jan is the same safety stock right let me update here so here up to 25th jan it's the same safety stock now the safety stock is changing from 26th 25th right so here now here why is it changing here 25th right 25th comes all over here if you go all across here it is it is coming up here column O. now if you see the average demand here column n if you see the average demand what is the average demand here 1300 1300 divided by 14 right so if you see the formula here or maybe i'll just put it here so 1300 is my uh, average dem uh, total demand what is my average demand let me write write it right down here so that at least for one you are clear let me make this little bigger now what is my average demand here divided by 14 this is my average demand and how much uh, safety stock for 10 days this is for 10 days okay 
So that means this multiplied by F is 928.557. So system is rounding off to 929. So that's what is happening here. 929. Right? Now let's do one more math for the next one so that you are clear. Now here, what is my average demand? Maybe I'll just copy this. Yeah. So that what is my average demand here? So if you mark here, all the average demand is 1200, right? Because we are progressing one day to the future and our forecast is only up to 21 days. That's why the forecast is dropping zero here. If you see all of these are zeros because there is no demand. There is no demand. Now if you see, what is the average demand? 1200. And 1200 divided by 15. And then this multiplied by right, 857. What is the forecast here? Safety stock here? 858. It, it is rounding off, right? Because the number of units are in uh, full decimal, full units, not in fractions. Because this is a finished good and the unit of measure is each. Okay? So this is how the safety stock um, uh, gets recalculated based on the demand. Right, this is called a transient set stock. And uh, feel free to ask more questions, and we will upload this file uh, uh, on on our site. Uh, click for learning, clickforlearning.com. And uh, uh, let us know if you have any questions or if you need further details. Uh, get in touch with us at info at uh, clickforlearning.com. Thank you all.